All right, what's up, boys, bees and G's? Um, so, this is just a quick connect guide for uh, done, uh, how to get the mods and stuff, and I'll briefly show you a few things that are in there. Um, so we're gonna go to Thunderstore Mod Manager. Now, this is through Overwolf. You might already have Overwolf. I know Overwolf is used for a lot of other games. If you don't, you're gonna hit Download Overwolf up here. Then I think if you just hit Download here, it'll download both. But Either way, this is the Thunderstorm Mod Manager. Pause here uh, to download and install and stuff, because I'm going to go on to the next step here. So, once you pop open Thunderstorm Mod Manager, uh, it's going to look like this. So, you'll see all these games. You'll go ahead and click Valheim. Now, it'll bring up a profile screen. You likely will not have any profiles here. I don't think you will. Um, so, what you want to do is hit Import and Update. When you hit Import, you're going to use Import New Profile from code, not from file. And uh, there's gonna be a code that I will have and it will look like this. This is the current code. So you'll just go ahead and copy it, paste it in there, hit import. And then you'll have Fantaheim here. This one here is for another server. Uh, so you'll select that profile and it'll install all these mods. There's 46, so it'll probably take a minute or two, um, but it's it's relatively quick as long as you're... It's not a huge files. Uh, some notable features, uh, without spoiling much. Triple bronze. Um, you make two copper ingots, one tin equals one bronze base game. F that. Uh, three to three. Um, some sa some skills to, you know, like sailing, uh, pack mule, uh, lumberjacking, mining, uh, stuff like that. Hearthstones. If you want to make yourself a hearthstone to teleport back home. They are fairly expensive, so it's not something you can spam. Blacksmithing, uh, you know, things like that. Anyways, so this is I, uh, this is just a test server, whatnot, um, just to test a few things. So the raft one lets you build on a raft, um, and you can add cool little stuff like a steering wheel, right? If you want to make your ship multi-tier, you can go ahead and... Oh, Mystical Force stops you way too close to the spawn. Damn it. So you can go ahead and add that. And then you can do this cool little thing where you add a rope ladder. Um, it's neat. It's very cool. Um, so that's one of the big things. Um, dual wielding is a thing. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab my body because I had a couple axes and stuff on me. Oh, what's this? Oh, the monster dropped a Mystic Fusion box. Huh. Cool. Anyways, uh, so you can dual wield weapons if they're the same tier of weapon. So here I've got two silver daggers, and they dual wield. But if I equip an axe, it will not dual wield. Then you have to dual wield two axes. Now, all dual wielding classes have their own little special effect. So the axes, I think, is the coolest that does this. Yeah, the wicked neat. Um, and then there's a bunch of new weapons and shields and foods and stuff um, that are crafted in here. Um, I tried to balance it as much as possible, uh, but yeah, there's new tiers of pickaxes. There's new bosses in the um, there's new bosses in the Mistlands, the Deep North, the Ashlands, uh, new regions, new NPCs for those areas. Uh, there's a school of magic. Uh, so for anybody who wants to play as a wizard, oh, uh, there's jewel crafting as well, uh, a bunch of new arrows, but something I wanted to show everyone actually, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and um, grab the uh, Rune of Frostbolt, right, just to show that off real quick, and then we'll show off the, um, so here's Frostbolt, does have a mana bar. Ah, uh, there we go, I hit. Now, Frostbolt, you can't just get the beginning of the game. You do have to, like, uh, you know, craft shit for it and whatnot. But, yes, um, uh, it's not, like, something that you'll blow up boars in one hit with right off rip. But, anyways, oh, and the server difficulty is set to very hard. So, there is a lot of OP mods, but, uh, like, let's go ahead and spawn a troll. And fight it with Frostbolt. Now you'll see that the troll has a 25 underneath it, so it's a level 25 troll. Uh, uh, there. Oh! There are levels. I set up some defenses around here because I'm only level 1. 
Uh, actually, I'm level 5. Never mind, I'm level 5. So you'll see I'm level 5. Um, now there is a level system, so if you hit tab, you'll see here you can add friends. But then, you see here, there's levels. So I've been putting a lot of points into intellect, also probably why my magic damage increased. But you'll see my magic damage increased by 4%, my magic armor increased by 2%. Um, so, pretty good. Now if you do endurance, you'll see endurance will increase your health regeneration, your base health, your physical armor block stamina consumption. Um, agility will increase your attack stamina consumption, your stamina increase and stamina consumption while running and jumping. Uh, and then strength will increase your physical damage your uh, and your carry weight. That's it. Uh, so strength is, seems to be... Uh, strength and agility actually seem to be the weakest in my opinion. Uh, now there's also... Uh, uh, inventory slots, so when you equip gear, for example, when you equip gear, uh, so I'll go ahead and craft my favorite set of gear here. That is the Serpent Knight gear. This is gear made out of black metal, silver, and serpent scales. You'll see it goes into my head, chest, and shoulders. There's also a quick bar here, so uh, if you go ahead and make yourself some potions, right, if you go ahead and make yourself some potions, some fire resist, or, or if you just want to put your foods there, that's also fine. Uh, but if you go ahead and make yourself some potions and stuff, uh, you'll... Uh, why can't I find any potions? Did I scroll past them? I think I did. Uh, so, we'll let's just, we'll just do this. We'll make an omelet. A burger. And so we can go ahead and put them in those slots, and you'll see the hotkeys associated with them. So I can just... Oh! That gave me... Oh, because that's right. That's the... <laughs> Z is also the key for uh, fly. And then and you'll see... Now these are obviously high tier foods. But uh, I've also increased it so monsters can spawn up to 7 stars. So let's see what a 7 star monster is like. And then we'll conclude that there. I don't want it to kill me instantly, so we'll go ahead and spawn troll one eight. And here is a seven star troll. Look at this big boy. He's absolutely massive. He's being shot by my defenses over here. We'll go ahead and pull out our frost bolt. And we'll just pelt him. He's healing himself. Um, so you'll kind of need a lot of the really dumb OP stuff to be able to handle, uh, how strong the monsters are, uh, which is why, um, you know, it looks like, oh, yeah, you just decimated that boar with a level one spell, but yeah, um, monsters will be spawning up to seven stars to add that little, uh, bosses will also have, um, stars and bosses will also have asphyxiations. Uh, so, uh, er, for example, earlier when I was testing, I fought an Ichthyr that had Reflective, uh, and it reflects a certain amount of damage. Um, so you don't want to burst it, you want to you want to maybe kill it slow. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and kill this dude. Um, so yeah, there's that. Oh, and then jewel crafting. I'll go over that real quick. So, when you jewel craft, you have to socket your gear. You don't find the gear as drops with it. You socket the gear. When you socket the gear, it has a 50% chance to break. So, it is a big risk you gotta take. You might lose your piece of gear. Uh, however, when a gear is socketed, you can, um, put gems in it. Now, the gems have different effects there's you know all these different color gems and then there's special gems from each of the individual bosses now the gems they have tiers so the first gem the first tier of gem you can just go mine out in the open world uh the next tier of gem you have to craft from those gems um um you have to craft from those gems uh and then it has a chance to break 
a uh, pretty high chance to break, and the the, high, the chance to break scales. So the first gem is like a 20% uh, chance to break, the next gem is like uh, a... Uh, no, sorry. The first gem is like a 50% chance to break, the next one is like a 70% chance to break, the next one is like a 90% chance to break. Uh, so you'll be farming a lot of gems um, to socket all your gear. The socket effects are cool. They don't really seem OP, in my opinion. Um, they also seem like a very low chance. I, I tested out this Necromancer one. Emerald Necromancer, Summon Skeletal Archers. Um, it was like a 7% chance with the highest tier gem. And they did like 19 damage. It was very cool. Uh, and it was uh, you know, it added a DPS, but yeah. Anyways, that's all for now. There's a lot more to it, so... Oh, uh... Bridges. That is all. Bridges. 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 Bridges.